It's another hectic week here at MK Sports Cars. We've got some serious turbo conversions coming up that you definitely want to stay updated with. We show you the updates on the GBS and the ever-growing OCD on the S2000 build. Bring on the 2022 track day calendar. Don't go anywhere, guys. You don't want to miss it. Right guys, welcome back to the MK Sports Cars Workshop. Well, what have we got in here? Well, we've actually got a GBS, something a bit different that we don't see very often. Um, and you've probably seen last week where we're doing some bits and bobs on this. Well, it's been cracking along, mainly electrics um, we've been dealing with, because it came in, it's been completely rebuilt, this car, color change, been wrapped in this well, light blue colour, uh, quite fancy. Um, so what we've done with electric, so the lights are working now, the rear lights are working now, and the fuel pump's kicking in, the indicators, none of that with the, um, it's got these LED, got to tighten that up, <laughs> got these LED uh, lenses in there, um, etc. And obviously wiring into the engine management also works to fire the engine. So that's point number one. And while we're at the engine here, this engine is fully rebuilt, not by us. Uh, the customer had it fully rebuilt. Uh, ZTEC engine, two litre, was a black top um, and uh, been heavily modified, got different cams. Everything's been done on this, I do believe. I don't know the horsepower number, a good number by all accounts. I think it's meant to be well in the past 200s plus um, as well, but it's never been fired before. So we did some preliminary checks on it by cranking it over down in here on a crank to make sure it's all loose, making sure it's got oil, got coolant and etc. on it before we do the first fire. We found the engine was really tight. Um, and then upon inspection, we whipped the cam cover off here, felt, you know, check the cam timing because it's a fully built engine, making sure it was all correct. We discovered that there was some uh, score marks from the, uh, from the cam loads on the inside of the rocker cover. This has been a custom made rocker cover. So um, yeah, we set about modifying that. Joseph went about that, modifying that. Now it turns nice and freely which is good news, and now we can continue on with diagnosing everything, checking it, getting it ready for its first start. Right, here we are over Project Nigel, hashtag, um, with the S2000 engine in this, well, black and orange livery, which we've been, well, seeing the build progress over the last sort of few weeks. Obviously not during a Christmas shutdown. Hope you had a nice break, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's been continuing on. Um, so nose cone, bonnet, scuttle, other side panel, other front wishbone and all that set up, all done in the lovely orange livery. And uh, while we was there, these are our standard brazes hoses. We'll take that out, which would normally fit into this caliper, which will mount here. Um, Nigel wanted to go orange again. So now we have these made up for him to, uh, to match. Um, they've just landed on our doorstep after a Christmas break, and we'll be changing these out to color coordinate the front end of that as well, so uh, that's going to look pretty fancy, I think. Um, looking forward to seeing this car's progressing, but yeah, front end all done, buttoned up, side panel, exhaust hole cut in here, etc. Already off. Um, rocker cover has been sent off on this, and that's going to be orange, I do believe, as well, um, with a black insert over the coil pack. So it'd be nice to tidy the engine bay up on that. Right, moving on interior wise, you probably see not much changed hugely, but all the carbon paneling 
inside the car here, matching the carbon dashboard. We've got a carbon tunnel top to go on this section here as well. And this was the dash design layout, which we had here. We've done a mock-up for on our sort of CAD system here to get a, an idea of what the customer wanted, which is what we've replicated on here with all our branded MK and black switches. I mean, it looks uh, super slick, super clean. I love these little instruments, actually, with all the little uh, warning lights in there. They look super trick. I'd have them on my own car, actually. I think that looks really cool. So, yeah, interior is getting buttoned up, and then we're going to move on to the back. Right, back end time. So, uh, it's a pretty back end on this, actually, isn't it, with the nice LED lights? all fitted in it to IVA spec. Now, talking about IVA spec, don't forget guys, we have got a YouTube video that helps uh, you distinguish where the lights are in there. Jump on there. It's about a 45 minute video if you wanna boil yourself a nice beer or a cup of tea or whatever. Um, yeah, it gives you an insight into these. But also, we've uh, repositioned the, the rear number plate light. We normally mount it in the middle of the panel here. Uh, we've now changed the design with this little um, laser cut part here to mount the uh, number plate light here just to clean up the back panel here um, because some people especially if you're doing a race car or everything else you know or doing other things or you want to change it at a later date it's very easy to change that to a different led light if you wanted to rather than holes being in your back panel so yeah num um, <clears throat> fuel caps in the nice black anodized fuel cap all plumbed into the uh, fuel tank here as well um, we've got uh, the sender in for the fuel tank we've got to run an earth strap which you must do again guys if you haven't got an earth strap in for your fuel tank, IVA compliance well, and we'll run that lead down to here. Off of the, we pull that off of the uh, brake to your earthing point there as well. So back in, looking pretty, getting ready for, uh, well, the rest of it is nice rear arches that will be going on. Right, guys, under the cover here is, uh, well, a latest addition to our uh, MK Sports Cars range. Um, it's a Mazda RX-5 uh, kit. Uh, that we've acquired um, and we're going to be turning this into a demo car for a little while actually running a stock engine with a TDO4 setup which is what we originally had on the grey demo car. Now the grey demo car, the 375 as we like to be known, uh, is now sold. So uh, that's going to be heading off in the next few months or so uh, to the customer once we've done a few little bits and tweaks and etc. ready for the spring, uh, you know, brake etc that's going to be coming in a nicer weather it's a bit cold out there at the moment so this bad boy yes going to have a full turbo conversion then be IVA'd and everything else um, in the black I mean we're going to do some tweaks to this so look out on the videos each week if you are subscribed hopefully you are then you'll see us do the changes to it because I think it's going to have no cage on it we may be losing the cage we may be putting the roll bar back on but we will definitely be bolting on the turbo kit we may change the wheels and tires and change a few other bits as well but it's a nice spec car it's got wheel wood brakes on it it's got uh, digi dash in it it's got all the nice bits and bobs on it that it needs it's all ready and then we just need to start working for it using the engine management turbo conversion and you can watch the video of us doing the conversion on the turbo, so that'll give you an insight. But in the meantime, if you want to read about the RX5 range and the turbo, well, this is Mike Ford. He was in uh, December 21 and January 22 edition um, of the Complete Kit Car magazine about his car and his RX5 turbo as well. So if you haven't subscribed to them, good idea too. It's great features in there. Lots of readers' cars, as well as what's going on in the industry, gives you a really good insight. And the latest issue, well, it's just landed on our doorstep as well. So that, uh, that um, Adam and his team do a great job there and give you a really good insight into an honest opinion, I think, about an appraisal of the cars and what they are and costs and things like that as well. So, and that rolls me on to track days. So we've signed up with Complete Kit Car because they're doing a couple of track days this year. And the first one is at Landau, and that is Saturday, May the 21st. And the second one is at Blyton Park, and that's August on a Sunday, the 21st as well. We will be attending both those events. We'll have two cars there. Um, and if all the events are allowed to, we will be giving hot laps if required so you can see what our cars go like. Right, guys, it's competition time. You have till midnight tonight on January the 15th to enter the competition. And next week, on Saturday at 7 p.m., we'll be announcing the winner. Right, guys, it's competition time here at MK Sports Cars. And if you want to be in with a chance to win over 500 pounds worth of goods, there's a year subscription to Complete Kit Car Magazine. A 200 pound track day voucher, courtesy of Javelin Track Days. 
an MK Sports Cars branded jacket, t-shirt and cap. And a whopping £200 gift voucher to spend in our online web shop. For your chance to win this fantastic prize worth over £500, simply follow the guidelines below. 1. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. 2. Like and comment on our Facebook competition post. 3. Share this competition post. And now for the legals. The winner will be selected at random. Closing date for this competition is 15th of January 2022, so you better get your skates on. Good luck, guys. Right, guys, don't forget a cars for sale section. If you're looking, well, spring's on its way. If you want to get into the, the scene of the, the kit car scene in general, whether it be a striker or indie, etc., we've got those for sale currently. If you want more details, obviously, if Hook us up with a phone call or an email and we can share that information with you. So that's it for this week, guys. Like, share, catch you next week.